Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is Evan LeFevre, your friend forever again. Here with a brand new video. And today's video is how do we get rid of money forever? Bring about a tr world filled with true freedom and equality for all. In a world where we'll never have to use money again. And that is through advanced 21st century robotics. Allow me to explain. If we wanted to get rid of money forever, which we should, because money is evil, money tries to say that certain people should live and certain people should die. That certain people should have food and certain people should not. That certain people should be healthy and certain people can't be. That certain people can get a higher education and earn a degree, and some people can't. That some people deserve to have a home, and some, pe that some people deserve to be homeless. Money tries to say all of these things, and money has no right having a say in who should be homeless and who should not, based on if they have slips of paper called money. Money is the most evil thing ever created, and capitalism is pure evil. But in order to get rid of that evil, we are going to get rid of money. And how we are going to do that is we are going to create a plethora of advanced artificial intelligent robots. Not even artificially intelligent. They're only intelligent enough to do the task they're assigned to do. And that is what they're programmed to do. And what we're going to do is, we are going to create an assortment of robots that are designed <clears throat> to harvest the resources needed to build more of themselves. Once we do this, it will take an initial investment. But once we do this, we can build a factory that these robots are built at and these robots can literally collect all the resources needed to build themselves and then they'd be the ones to build themselves more of themselves so we have a self-replicating robotic fleet so basically what we do is we create a different robot to mine every resource that we use. Every single resource that everything is made of, that we consume, you name it, we will design a robot that will harvest that resource. So once we get the robots up and running, we will be able to have free labor at a base level. So we won't have to charge for the goods that are acquired through the labor of these robots. So basically, it will allow us to share all the resources that are gathered from these robots, share them with everyone in the world for free, on demand. So we do this by what we're going to do is create a hundred story tall 20 acre long buildings and inside these buildings there won't be one human being will ever set foot in this building and what these buildings will do is they will have every single food every single uh, every single food item that we consume will be grown in these buildings by robots and they won't need pesticides because they'll all be grown inside and it won't be infected by any GMO crops so it can be all of it organic seed and this will allow us to feed the entire planet for free. So once we get these robots up and running, then we create a corporation. A corporation that will hire 
anybody and everybody on the planet Earth. So anybody that wants a job with this corporation can get a job. And what will their job be? To do exactly what they want every day of their life, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And those are the only requirements of their job. So, basically, every human being, once these robots are set up to do all the work for us, every human being will be free to do whatever they want to do every single day of their life, every second of their life, for free, unconditionally, with res unconditional respect for their life and their God given right to the resources of this, of this planet so these robots are not going to be like the Osimo here as you see in this picture you see the, the robots I'm going to design aren't just mimicking the human form imagine I mean why only have two arms on a robot when you could have four Two going forward and two going the other direction, backwards. And why only give a robot two eyes when a robot could see in 360 degrees at once? And stuff like this, you know, I'm not too keen on insisting on building a robot in man's image. I would rather build it to have full functionality. It'll have a head that's just, have you ever seen Google Street View? The camera that captures Google Street View sees everything at once in 360 degrees as the camera goes through the neighborhoods. I'm going to put that camera on a robot and allow, allow the robot to understand things that are going on all the way around it at once. A robot that can walk forward and backwards instantly with not, without a hitch. I mean, these are the kind of robots that should be built right now to assist at Fukushima, Daiichi. And we could get some of these robots in to help contain the leak and help with what's going on over there. But then, this corporation that hires anybody and everybody will take over every single corporation on the planet every other what we'll do with our free resources we will open restaurants that are free you can come in and eat for free fast food restaurants you come in eat for free grocery stores you come in get your groceries for free electronic stores we will come out with our own free televisions our own free laptops our own free cars that don't run off of fossil fuels cars that <clears throat> run off of salt water engines and electric hybrid technologies and all of this stuff will be harvested the resources will be harvested by these robots and they will be manufactured by robots so essentially we will take over everything every corporation everything on this planet and have and make it free free for everyone because we will be supplying the free resources that go into making it so that is how we will get rid of money forever on the planet earth and every single human being alive will be wealthier beyond imagination wealthier than they've ever imagined everyone will be free to do exactly what they want to do every second of their lives they will no longer be threatened that they will not have respect for their life if they don't do what other people say. So this is going to be a reality that we need to manifest. This is the 21st century. And we have to start respecting human life. We have technology that could allow us to create true freedom for everyone. True infinite equality for all on the planet Earth. A world without money, without threats, with unconditional respect for every single human life. That is the world that we must manifest with this technology that I intend to help design. My team is going to be comprised of the greatest robotics experts 
the world over. And we are going to create a robot, a different robot for every single job that a human being doesn't need to do. And there will still be activities for human beings to a, a do and achievements for human beings. We will still need scientists. We will still need artists, actors, musicians, creative people, inventors. Society will still require people to contribute and dedicate their time to doing what they're passionate about. But no longer will they be threatened that if they don't have money, they will no, not have respect for their life. They won't have that threat any longer because they will have all their needs and wants met for free, unconditionally, because of this 21st century technology. So we must invest in creating these robots because they will be able to harvest the resources to build themselves, thus allowing them to take over every single job that we don't need to do anymore. And human beings on this planet will no longer be slaves to the dollar because money is the opposite of freedom. To, have, to live in a world where money is God is not a free world. Where you're told you have to pay to survive. Where you're told that you have to do as you're told by your boss or else you're not going to make it. Capitalism is the root of all evil today. And money is the weapon it wields against us to enslave us. And we can remove that threat against our lives by getting rid of money forever and creating advanced 21st century robots to do the slave labor for us. And these robots can work in the dark. They can work 24 hours, 7 days a week to make our every need possible. And then we can have an internet where everybody can look up everything they'd ever want to buy or have. And everyone will have a million points a day. And each point is, is the equivalent of an American dollar. And basically they can invest that million dollars every day however they see fit. And every day that happens that million points refills so every day you're a millionaire again your money refills you can get a higher education in any area and because the world's still going to need doctors and passionate people who are willing to do that kind of work and what's going to happen is our society will improve because people will not be doing it for money. They won't be in their positions of power for money. They'll be doing it because they are passionate about what they're doing. And they're doing what they love to do. And that will increase the quality of everything tenfold. It'll increase the quality of our health care. Because the doctors in our hospitals will want to be there. Not, they won't be there just to make money. So... This world without money is our destiny. It is what we need to do. It is the only ethical, moral way to live in the 21st century. There are no more excuses to oppress innocent people just because they don't have slips of paper called money to say they can't have a home, to say they can't have some food in their stomachs, to say they can't have clean water or health care, to say they can't enjoy their lives when they can when we can make it possible for everyone to enjoy their life by getting rid of money implementing new robotics 21st century technology to do the work for us thank you very much this is your friend forever Evan LeFevre never forget this is possible science fact 
to get rid of money and bring about a heaven on earth and true freedom for everyone alive for the rest of eternity. And none of us will ever feel crime or hardships and it'll be the elimination of crime. And I think that's worth our time. That's worth the initial investment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And see you next video. Bye-bye.